Sonic games, like, you, you try to go fast, but then there's always stuff that prevents you from going fast. There's like a tricky platforming moment yeah. or, like, something that stops you. It's kind of like a racetrack. You have to know the track's layout, so it's not like you can just barrel through it at you, you first me, You time want me to through. play through a Sonic game not once but twice? I mean... Or even more? No, thank you. <laughs> uh, you see, this is why you can't enjoy things. Sonic Adventure 2, though, that has a nice soundtrack. Yeah. But I'm still I a did, Genesis fanboy. I, play, I played a lot of a lot of Sonic Adventure 2. I kind of wanted to get Sonic Forces just for the character creator. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see if I could make Fox McCloud. Oh. <laughs> or like Falco or something, because you can make a bird. Yep. I wanted to see what I could make with it. But from what I've seen, the character creator is not actually that good. And the game itself is probably not that good yeah, either. Yeah, I'll probably suffer through it at some point. I, if I can find it for less than $20, <laughs> I might get it. Yeah. It's just a shame because, like, the build-up they had to it was good. They made it yeah. look like it was going to be the next Sonic Generations, and that was a good game. Yeah, it looked like it was going to be, like, a Sonic Generations slash Sonic Adventure kind of game. Exactly. Because it had all the characters, too. Yep. I heard that the plot line is really dumb, too. Like, shadow bullies some guy into, into <laughs> committing heinous acts of evil. Anyway, uh, we're going to see a lot of bullying here with... Uh, <laughs> with Blue Bear and Ryoku <laughs> playing their mains against yep. Shadow and Adorable Knight. Yeah, but Shadow and Adorable Knight, definitely a potent team here. Yeah, one, one thing that makes them very noteworthy is their team combos. Uh, very reminiscent of Linus and Hawk when they really get going. Yeah, I mean, they definitely know a lot of those interesting, interesting situations and exactly what they can do with each other. So that's definitely what helps them out in getting through the doubles brackets. Yeah, it's really just gonna it's gonna take a lot of determination from uh, from the red team to be able to break their teamwork. Yeah, but right now red team seems to be doing just fine on working from the outside here. Ooh! Jeez, going super low to try and get that kill. Yeah, Shadow is dancing with death there, way down in the blast zone. Just barely missed that. Hello? Oh nobody dies! Ooh. Surprise. Great right. rock smash though to protect his landing there from Shadow. Alright, yeah, all right. Oh, not able to get the up only getting the coin of shame. Oh, and oh no. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, wait. Shadow's still alive. Wow. I'm surprised. He's going to still be living through that, too. Judas Priest. I can't believe he's still up there. Oh, and unfortunately, uh, or fortunately for Ryoku, he falls out of the last hit of that fly, and Boomer sneaks in the uh, Shadow Claw. Yep, finally able to get that kill. But yeah, Red Team's still sitting on both their first stocks. God, that Nair is so, so impressive to deal with when you're in shield on the ledge like that. Yeah, because he could, like you saw, he just was able to go off the stage so that way he didn't have to deal with any of the landing leg. He was able to follow up with another aerial. Yeah, and unfortunately for Shadow, missing his follow up off of that. Yep. Ooh, Ooh. Nice back here on the platform. Jeez, I mean, that just such a strong move and just reaches so far. Oh, that was a very awkward spot for uh, Abner for a second. Yeah, with Luigi, if you can get the angle just right, you can use the stage to cut your opponent off from your tornado, so you can kind of use that to try and get a pseudo stage spike. Oh, Abner's chasing him, or uh, Ryoku, rather. Yeah. Good call, though, jumping out of that situation, because you can jump up as far as you want, because it won't kill you Ooh. as long as you're... And that's going a up nasty on shield break right there. Is he going to die to that? He is. Wow. Blue yeah. Bear. With three stocks still. Yeah, Shadow and Adorable. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 hey, sometimes you just got to throw it out and hope for the best. <laughs> he got deleted like 12 times. That should have taken two stocks. No kidding. All right. He, he tried to go for something cheeky there with a the tornado flush. Yeah, but just staying below him so he didn't get hit afterwards. Honestly, the way that uh, um, Boo Bear recognizes those situations and just kind of sits in the corner charging Shadow Ball, it's really difficult to deal with. Yeah, because, I mean, Mewtwo is really good at just creating a wall around himself, and it's very difficult for both those characters to get in on him. Yeah, that's why we saw that shield break in the first place. Once again, he just sits there gets that full Shadow Ball, so... Yeah, no. <laughs> Just like that, 26% damage. It's definitely working out for him. So it's kind of one of those weird things. It's like, you can try and focus on the other player. Oh, wow, that actually gimped him. <laughs> Hitting the flare blitz Jeez. caused his demise. 
That is depressing. All right, he went for it. Yeah, I can respect that option. He's at the ledge, so he can always retreat right back there. Gonna get the up smash trade, though. All right, ooh, is that gonna ooh. kill? It is. Wow. All right, so <laughs> we got ourselves a, a 2v1, but with one stock each and with Luigi on the table, uh, <laughs> anything can happen. Yeah, but the problem is those are fresh stocks this time, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get some of the shenanigans. Yeah, he definitely needs a flush, but I don't know if he's going to be able to, to find it. Oh, that's going to be risky. Ooh, hello? <laughs> Getting a little bit of a low profile there afterwards. Whoa. Things are happening right now for Adorable Knight. <laughs> Finally getting that forward air, sent him right back off, but he's definitely bringing this back pretty well. And there's Boo Bear over here just uh, juking around with it. Oh, um, no, yep. that was that was unfortunate. I don't know if he wanted to be in that situation. With yeah. I think he was hoping to be able to float off to the edge, but the problem yeah. is the big body of Mewtwo kept him from being able to slide. Because you can get a little bit of a slide once you land with the uh, up B. Yeah, he just couldn't sneak through that big body of Boo Bear. <laughs> what is Boo Bear doing? I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Jeez. He's celebrating their game one victory. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, it felt like um, Shadow and Adorable Knight weren't able to get any like big team combo like that we've kind of known them for. Yeah, I mean, it felt like they were kind of separated for most of the match, so they yeah. weren't really able to get too much stage control. Yeah, Boo Bear and uh, Ryoku were just able to separate them, and Boo Bear just, like, completely, like, ruined the flow of the match for them. Yep. Just by doing this. Yeah. That's a really big challenge, because, I mean, what can you really do to deal with that? Because if you try and go after Mewtwo, you still have to deal with the Bayo right behind you. If you try and deal with Bayo, you're giving Mewtwo the free Shadow Ball charge, so... This team definitely doesn't have any trouble staying separated from each other. Okay, sneaking in that back here on the platform. And Boo Bear yeah. just oppressively holding Shadow Ball. <laughs> no, nothing you can do other than like lose half your shield. Yeah. And that's really what's making this matchup difficult because it's like, yeah, the green team has stage control, but it's not really worth much because you They're can just throw out the Shadow Ball exactly. and it completely disrupts anything you're trying to do on the ground. Yeah, and it basically forces them to try and be aggressive and give up the area that they have under control to just try and get that Shadow Ball out of there or try and deal with Bale who's jumping all around and get hit by a Shadow Ball. Woo! Okay, this time Shadow does have his double jump, so he's able to make it back on the stage even after that. Yep. Yeah, blue team definitely looking a little worse for wear right now, percentage-wise, so they both have to be careful. Yeah, but at the same time, they did take that stock from Yoku, so they are in a bit of a lead as far as stocks go. But, oh, okay, Ooh. this time jumping over it, but unfortunately his brother's going to get hit by it because of it. Yeah, so that fair, though, not going to be enough to take it out, even though Mewtwo is fairly light. All right, Shadow taking a lot of punishment, though, here on the ledge. Yeah, good call by Normal Knight going over there to keep Shadow protected as he's trying to get back to the stage there. Yeah, Shadow's been kind of stuck at this ledge for quite a while now. Up throw, Ooh. is that going to be it? It is. Yep. Okay, they tried to get some kind of setup before Boo Bear was able to respawn, but it did not work out for him. Nope. Yeah, if he had been able to get that Tornado game, that probably would have been a good F smash right there. Oh, just the back air destroys everybody, but somehow wow. Luigi survives. Yeah, getting sent right back out, but he should still have his jump, if I'm not mistaken. He does, and he actually uses the tornado to get back on stage. Wow, <laughs> he just, Boo Bear just let that happen. Yeah, unfortunately for him, that means he's got to deal with that uh, potential of an up B or uh, team combo now. Yeah, despite everything, uh, Normal Knight does make it back. Yeah, blue team is doing a bit better of a job playing it a little bit closer to the chest, so to speak, with the uh, uh, adorable, or not adorable, Knight Boo Bear. Yeah. Because they're not really letting him sit back comfortably anymore. They're trying to keep it relatively close to him to where they can change up who they're fighting rather than just leaving him alone to the other side of yeah, the stage. Yeah, before, before it felt like the red team was always, like, 
they were fighting the match on their terms. Mm -hmm. But now, like, Shadow and Adorable Line are kind of answering that. They're, they're fighting them on their terms, but, like, they're winning that fight. Yeah. Because they've essentially shifted where they're keeping that stage control. Because it's no longer on the other side trying to deal with the Bayonetta. They've shifted it closer to where it's, like, this mid-range between both of them. So that way... They can switch up their focus, and they're doing a good job of switching their focus together. Yeah. Yeah, I think together is definitely the key word there. Okay, but... Okay, Abner is not going to be able to make it that. And unfortunately, he's oh. going to SD. This is looking pretty good for a blue team right now, to say the least. Yep, trying to use that Rock Smash, but good patience there from Boo Bear. Yeah, he was kind of spaced around that Rock Smash perfectly. Oh, trying to go for the downer as he was jumping up there. Yeah, this actually is not very far out of out of reach here, especially if he's able to take this stock from Adorable Knight. And these forward airs are a good start. Yep. Having to bring him back up with him, getting back to the stage here, but he's got to be careful. Oh, if he had went for a back air instead of an up air. Yeah, the thing is, in the 1v1, uh, Mewtwo is very good against both these characters. Yeah, so they definitely got to keep both their stocks alive as long as possible. Yeah, the thing is, like, you charge that Shadow Ball, Luigi takes the shield hit. He doesn't have anything to do other yeah. than run away and recharge his shield. Yeah, and it's like even if he, even after he gets hit by it, he slides back so far, even if he shields it. All right, Boo Bear is playing out of his mind right now. Yeah, definitely doing a good job of just walling both of them out, not really letting them get those opportunities, but one time he lets them in. That's all it took. Yeah, Shadow definitely needed to hit that there, otherwise uh, Uber would have kept living and kept, like, kind of juking both of them. Yeah, and it was he, only a matter of time before he got a kill. Yeah, because, I mean, they were both getting close to that kill percent. Yeah, I felt like if he got that down to the 1v1, it definitely would have been in his favor. Oh, no doubt about that, but fortunately they were able to clutch it out and force it to a game three here. It's gotta be scary though, especially when Boo Bear like is is on on his stuff right now. Yeah. He's on the juice, man. So here we go, game three starting off. Red team getting a good combo on Shadow here. Yeah, 41% right off the bat uh, from uh, Ryoko. Oh, some Ooh. good ping pongs here. Okay. Oh, if he had connected that one, that could have kept on going for another 20, 30 percent. Oh, trying to get an up B there, but yeah. wouldn't have killed at that percent. Only gets one coin. It's the one coin money match. Yeah, he keeps getting that coin of shame. It's like he's getting the opportunities to get it, but the problem is, it's like that spacing is just off by just enough pixels where he gets the soft spot. Ooh. Okay. Wow, what an option there. I mean, that's one way to guard the edge. It seems like Luigi's jab is setting up for a lot of Charizard's kill moves. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those jabs that just sends your opponent off at such a nice angle. It's like that nice 30 to 45 degree range. Man, you're talking angles here. He, was, yeah. he, he landed right in front of Charizard's F smash. <laughs> I mean, hey, part of it depends on the percent they're at. Ooh, okay. That was actually really smart because he couldn't grab ledge. He was at the ledge, so he had nothing yeah. to do but sink down. Yeah, Maybe like he could have mashed up B to avoid it, but like, do you really want to risk that? I mean, it would have been better than getting hit by that. Yeah. Back throw at the ledge, that's definitely going to do it. Yeah, so blue team definitely oh. getting their coordination flowing super well here, getting a lot of good opportunities. So the red team's got to find a way to make things start happening in their favor again. Yeah, at, Ryoku's stocks have been deleted here, pretty much. Yep. Oh, he wanted to go for the... Uh, oh, okay, Ooh. he got the down air that time. <laughs> oh, he was trying to get the up B out of that grab throw, but not going to be enough. Yeah, now things are feeling really comfortable for Blue Team. Yeah, I mean, they're sitting on all of their stocks still, and there goes Boo Bear. Yeah, there goes Boo Bear, and now Ryoku's got six stocks to work with. Oh, once again. I feel like the down, like the, the fire from the down throw just kind of ruins that. So. No, he's doing it too far because he's doing it at the feet. you got to get right up to the middle of the body if you want that to work. But, I mean, when your opponent's at 7%, there's not too much need to do that, in my opinion. Just go for the damage. And yeah, you can tell that they want to make a statement here. Yep. Oh, this, this might be where it starts. 
Oh, he was a little bit too early on the trigger. Oh, and that would have been so court. hype. But yeah, I mean, you look over at them. They're smiling right now. They're enjoying themselves. So yeah, they're definitely trying to make a statement right here. Oh, oh yep. they got it. <laughs> that, that was my favorite, where the, like the yep. tornado flushes right into Charizard's yep. anything. Yeah, I mean, even like if you have Cloud 2, you do Cloud Up Throw into Tornado Gimp, uh -huh. and then they just fall right down into a 